So hi, you guys. So this is a random channeled message. Sometimes I kind of get downloads like this, where I kind of feel like I need to, um, kind, I kind of get downloads about situations and experiences and stuff like that. So someone's experiencing some pain, some discomfort, some unspeakable things. So right off the bat, it's 201, and I'm starting to notice, well, essentially I started this at 2 a.m., and a lot of times I get up around this time, and I have a lot of energy, but I don't always film. I, in fact, I hardly ever film these days when I get in this energy. So I decided today to film a reading for you guys. So someone is frustrated. There's a lot of delays in your love life, in your career, your finances. There's a lot of delays, a lot of setbacks, frustrations. Then you see some growth and then you see some setbacks. <clears throat> There's something or even just a lot of things frustrating you. And it's like you guys are going to have a new beginning in self-love and self-truth. And that's what it is. That's what's causing all the frustration and delays. It's like you needed to love yourself. You know what I mean? Like you needed to really just love yourself. Okay, so you guys have had some significant setbacks in your health, frustrations in your health, finances, career, in your love situation, your lifestyle. And it's like, you just need to love yourself. Like, just choose good for yourself and good for your environment, good for your health, okay? And I feel like you guys have done that. And this is amazing for you guys, okay? Because something amazing is gonna come as a result of you deciding to just love yourself. As a result of you just deciding to um, recognize the reason for these setbacks and the, you know, the higher reason, um, you know, the greater reason, maybe not, it's just like, in the long run and also what these setbacks could be telling you what these setbacks are an opportunity for i feel like you guys are realizing that and things are going to move forward and open up for you in a major way okay emotionally rekindling sweet feelings then also physically, you're gonna get an offer. You're gonna have a new beginning in your in your life, a new job. Um, your a return to health for someone who needs it already. Uh, a prosthetic. And I feel like it's gonna really surprise you. Something is coming because a new beginning in love is had. So more on this new beginning in love. You guys have been facing frustrations, delays. I've said it already, right? So you've been like dealing with challenges, all that stuff. <clears throat> yes. Now, you guys also have been look, taking a look at yourself and asking yourself the hand and the role that you have been playing what have you been doing different in your life 
okay and for a lot of you guys you've been you've changed around your life you might have went through some changes difficulties upsets you might not like the way things are you might even be dealing with um a change in vitality and it's like you your response to it is causing this to persist or even just your your maybe even you're the one who kickstarts the situation but you're seeing your hand in it and because of that you have a new beginning in love because your hand in this situation i promise you no matter who you are watching this your hand is just that you need to just love yourself choose to love yourself like don't choose to be desperate or to be depressed or to give up or to um not have hope don't choose to be inconsistent to be untrustworthy or whatever it is that you see your hand is choose to be positive don't choose the narrative that is degrading or that makes you feel bad choose what makes you feel positive choose love I feel like you guys, you know, you notice a change and, you know, you don't need to worry. Like your life is not going to get worse. Cause I feel like you guys might be thinking that things are getting worse, but in reality, they're not. Everything that's happening is well within your comfort zone. And it's actually bringing you financial enhancement and improvement and it also improvement in health. So it's making you see how worthy you are and how much you don't need to deal with certain things <clears throat> there definitely could be somebody here that's paranoid and that's all that is okay not necessarily somebody here that's watching this reading for a lot of you guys it could be somebody in your life who you know who you're having plans with for who you're paranoid about or this person is just straight up paranoid and they're paranoid about following their heart they 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 have a soulmate twin flame that's a water sign okay so more on the situation you know this person there's somebody here that they have somebody in their life that's a man it could be same sex. That's a that's um a water sign that this person wants to be with. They have deep feelings for, or very pure feelings for, or they just had a new beginning in love with. Perhaps this person is paranoid. Or perhaps this person came in on your side though. For some of you guys, and this person is paranoid about them. Now, there's something positive happening. But I also feel like there is um, this like fiery energy. You don't need to worry about it. There's something positive happening. Because I recognize that this could sometimes mean third parties. But oftentimes, this energy talks about not only third parties, but it talks about celebration, talks about things working out in your favor, in someone else's favor. It talks about um, everything going to fruition as well. And I feel like that's what's happening. But I just feel like this person, this fire sign man, he's paranoid about either because he's in love with a water sign man or you're in love with the water sign man. So you could be feeling that, picking up on this from this person, picking up on this in general. I feel like there might be somebody who 
is also sending you some dark energy, you know, fine. But mainly, especially if there's a fire sign in your life, this man is paranoid about a water sign person who you know, okay? And they're paranoid about um, them being in your life and them causing stress and burdens in the sense that in the relationship, they want to protect the relationship. So this is somebody who you're already dating. All right, so this random message, it's just a, it's just so you see value, you see your worth. It's a message about your worth. You are worthy. Someone sees your worthiness. You're healthy. Oh my gosh, yes. Amen. <laughs> but you guys are wor you guys are healthy as well. Somebody who's wondering about that. Someone here definitely struggles with their health. And your health is returning, especially as you um, care and <clears throat> you start to become more, I'm seeing somebody become more homeopathic, naturopathic, but that doesn't mean that if you're not that way, you're not having improvement in health, no. You could still be the way you were, but it's just seeing value in your day-to-day, -day, um, nurturing yourself as you nurture yourself and expand in nurturing yourself and self-care. You, your health grows. I also feel like you guys are caring about how you feel more and more. All right. See you guys. That's the random message. Um, take it or leave it. I'll talk to you guys super soon. Bye-bye.